In the past, we've talked about using bamboo and flat carbon fiber, such as this, for a fighter kite spine. Now, I've also mentioned that a carbon rod works just as well as either bamboo or a flat uh, carbon. But how do you get the bend in a carbon rod if you don't want to put in a tension line? Well, I have here a piece of aluminum tubing. It's about inch and a half long, maybe inch and three quarters. And the inside diameter of this is about 0.06 or 0.062, something like that. It's large enough to allow me to put the carbon fiber rod through it. Now, it doesn't weigh very much. It does weigh something for sure, but not very much. And what this allows you to do, you can slide this wherever you want it. Let's say that I want the bend in my fighter kite spine to be located approximately in this area. Well, all I have to do is to slide the aluminum piece to that point and put a bend in the tubing. Now I can do that just with my hands, or I can use something like, you know, a form that would give me a little bit of a broader uh, curve maybe, or a more shallow curve. So you end up with something that looks like this in terms of the way that the kite spine would bend. Now you can change that while you're flying the kite by straightening it out a little bit or making the bend a little more severe. Or if you haven't uh, glued the spine to the uh, sail of the kite, then you can also move the aluminum strip up or down a little bit to change the location of this bend. This is a very simple, quick, easy way to control and to maintain the bend you want in the spine of your fighter kite using a carbon fiber rod. This one is, is 1.5 millimeters in diameter and it works great.